All right, YouTube world, we got another another little video here, and this is going to be part two of our Mini ITX build 3D printed case. As you can tell, we have some of the pieces done. Each one of these right here were, uh, I think they're like 11 hours to print. This one here was about five-ish hours to print, and then I printed this off with one of these other pieces, so they don't really count. If I had to print that off by itself, it's maybe uh, like an hour or less. It's not a big deal. So, <clears throat> these are the pieces. All right, like I said, this is your back spine. Like I've discussed in the first video, you know, this is your motherboard I.O. panel cutout, GPU panel cutout. This is for power connector. You can buy these off of Amazon. I'll have all these links for all the stuff I talk about in uh, the description you can buy these off of Amazon I bought a package of 10 for uh, actually I don't really remember how much I paid for them it, they weren't very expensive and it goes in here like this There's a couple of screws holds it in place on the back side I will take a 90 degree power supply cable that I bought I will cut off one of the ends and get to the wires. And this plugs into the power supply on top and runs down through the case and will connect into the back of this right here. So pretty simple to do. But one of the things that I do on making these now, first couple of these that I built, I did not do it uh, on the last last one and this one here I've, I've done it is I use these little brass inserts uh, let's see let me got a pair of pliers here I use these little gnarled brass inserts they make a tip or sodden iron that goes to the middle of this heats the insert up and it will melt it right into your hole. So, I will, I fix it to the rescue. If anybody has any contacts with iFixit, the sponsorship would be nice. I love the iFixit toolkits. I'll come in here and I'll clean the threads out, make sure, make sure they're good. And now when you get done with putting one of these in, you're gonna have to clean the threads again because it will melt the plastic and the plastic will get inside the threads so you want to make sure the threads are cleaned out so clean the threads out I got two of those now my soldering iron it's just a cheap Amazon 60 watt iron I got it set about 325 degrees according to this how accurate it is I don't know it's just a cheap soldering iron off of Amazon link will be in the description below uh, I gave like $15 for it but it works great so what we do is hopefully I can do this where you guys can see it more importantly I gotta be able to see it so put that right there we'll carefully get that lined up it'll heat up got it started I want to make sure it's mostly straight and square in the hole it don't have to be exactly perfect. The holes on some of these are a little large, so you got a little bit of room for error, but now it's started. Real light pressure. Let let your hand and yeah, almost. Almost a little bit more. That ought to be pretty dang close. Uh, let me uh, a little bit deeper. There it is, little brass insert. <coughs> let me do the next one here. I already chased these threads, so real carefully get started. Get just slightly mounting. It's close. A little bit of pressure 
it don't take a lot of pressure. When I first started messing with these and a little trial and error with these things, I didn't have enough heat and I was pushing too hard. It actually wasn't even melting the plastic. It was, it was just deforming the plastic in. All right, so now those are put in. Now, go back to my little iFixit tool here. And, I, and these brass inserts are three millimeter brass inserts. I also have uh, some four millimeters or M4s or I guess what they call them, they're metric stuff. For, I use the bigger ones. There's a couple of holes over here on this thing here. A couple of holes up here will have a larger, or have the larger inserts. So now, since we got plastic in the holes, I need to chase the holes with the tap. Carefully. Actually, you know what? I need one thing. A little more plastic in the holes than I want, so I have a little bit of drill bit. <clears throat> I think this is the right size. A little bitty drill bit right here, and I will lightly drill out the holes. Get the majority of the plastic out of there, anyways. Now, well, fine. You know what? There's a lot more plastic in there this time around. Let me just drill it. There we go. Now, see, I could be one of those YouTubers and I can edit out, edit out when I have problems, but I'm not going to do that. I had a little bit too much plastic in the hole and my tap wasn't going far enough into the hole to actually bite into the threads. So, now, there we go. You can see all that dust coming out from the plastic. So, let's clean this one out. Much better. Alrighty. Now that those are cleaned out, I have a box of screws. I found these on Amazon. Pretty nice little box of screws if you need any kind of like metric type screws I've had pretty good luck with them whatever brand that is uh, they have the M3s M4s and M5s so I would need some of these M3s right here these little shorty ones just need a couple I've built enough of these cases now that I've had to replenish just these screws not knowing what I was going to need for sure when I started making these cases I ordered several sets of these uh, screws so that I could make sure I had enough screws for <clears throat> to finish out one of these builds so I got this piece and that piece now I'll I'll do it off camera I just wanted to show you a couple of these uh, brass inserts I'll do it off camera because every one of these holes here here there this one here has two there two on the let's see that's the bottom uh, one of these is going to be for the motherboard, or these two be for the motherboard, this will be for the GPU side, and motherboard and GPU. I will, I'll do all those off camera, you guys don't need to watch me do all that, so. But what I will show you is how this goes together. Now, this is your middle spine, this is your forward spine, and this is the back of the case slash back spine. So what we do is it kind of 
likes to slot together. Oops. I'm trying to do this where you guys can see it and I can see what I'm doing. It's kind of see what all the YouTubers always complain about. All right. It kind of snaps together like so. We get our handy dandy eye fix it screwdriver with the countersunk bit. And we hope, we hope our screws are straight. And voila. That one's that one's together. Like I said, this is the front. Now this one here does the same thing. It kind of sort of slots in a little bit. Got to make sure the top's lined up. Up here on the top, this has a, a slot and this will have a, a tapered end to it. So they kind of slot together and it does that on the top and it does that on the bottom. So you just got to make sure they're lined up, which there I missed. Alrighty. Now I get my screw and my iFixit screwdriver. And you screw it together. <clears throat> and there we go. That is the start of the case. Now, if you look, it is going to be a little flimsy just the way it sets. But once you get it all assembled and you have the you have the bottom piece right here, which I'm printing the bottom piece off right now. The bottom piece will be screwed on here, attached here in the four corners. And then when you get the top piece printed, it'll actually be screwed on in the top corners. And this piece here will actually be attached to a whole nother front end on it. Uh, I'm printing it the front end piece right now. It'll be done midnight tomorrow. The bottom end piece will be done tonight, and then I'll have the top and the two side panels to print. And I think all the printing will be done. So once I get all the other pieces together, I'll make another video putting it all together. Uh, and before I forget, one other thing: the reason I started using the brass inserts. Sometimes the screws, when you were screwing into these spots, meant for screws. I've had an issue kind of down in here that in these here uh, the way the 3d printer prints because you know we got layers and lines I've had an issue with those screws splitting these corners where the screws go in so I that's why I started using the brass inserts the brass inserts actually you know they melt in there they melt that that, that connection so it has a much stronger connection and I can actually tighten it down pretty pretty tight without spinning one of those neural neural inserts I actually Put one in and seen how much force it would take to actually spin one out and I was shocked how much it actually took to spin it so but anyways If you guys have any questions or rude comments or remarks or anything like that. Just let me know uh, I'll try to do some more 3d printing type stuff uh, I had somebody today ask about a external GPU uh, case I guess and I have seen some stuff on Thingverse for risers type uh, like GPU stand for mining type thing so I don't know I, I, I just let me know if you guys want to see something built I'm willing to try just about anything so all right well until next time I'll see you guys in the next video.